Ron DeSantis versus Donald Trump? Are you measuring them against each other in a GOP primary versus a general election? I think it's very clear that Ron DeSantis is a stronger candidate in a general election against Joe Biden than Donald Trump, at least at this point. He polls better with swing voters. Swing voters hate Trump. That's just like moderates. They can't stand him. Since January 6th, it's part of the reason why you just saw the midterm elections go in the favor of the Democrats and somehow in the Senate and the fact that there were barely any gains in the House. So it really just comes down to what we're talking about. But when you want to talk about core GOP primary voters, they still overwhelmingly prefer Trump. Look, Republicans uh, it, historically like to focus on winning, right? They, historically, they have liked to focus on who's the candidate who can succeed here. And if everything Tara is saying is true, and, and, and I think that the numbers bear it out, you would think that the party would be shifting more to DeSantis, and yet it appears to be going the other way. Dan, it's amazing to me how much people want to make premature judgments about a race that hasn't even started yet. <laughs> DeSantis hasn't even announced. The fact is the Republican Party is split into three groups. There's a never Trump group that's about 10 percent. There's an always Trump group that's about a third, call it 30, 35 percent. But a majority of Republicans are maybe Trump voters. They voted for him in the past. They would vote for him against Biden if that were the choice. But they wonder whether or not he can win in 2024. And so they're looking around for other alternatives. Ron DeSantis is one of the alternatives, but there are a number of others they may look to. And the course of the campaign will help us determine who is going to rise up to be an alternative to Donald Trump. But it's ridiculous to count anybody in or out at this stage of a race. Tara, when is when is DeSantis expected to officially announce? Well, they have to pass this law in the state legislature. Well, they have to amend a law that allows him to run without resigning as governor, which to me seems interesting. I have been told that the current draft of the bill, the way that it's been circulated right now, it stands to take effect July 1. Okay. So they were so, thinking he'd make a big announcement July 4th, big patriotic moment. Oh. I think that waiting that long might be too long because Trump is attacking him every day. And if there's one thing we're seeing is that with the GOP primary yeah. voters, the first election, he's dropping in the polls because of those attacks. Well, I was going to say, what it does seem every day that Trump is, you know, these attack ads are on conservative media in particular. But it sounds like what you're telling us is, where things stand today doesn't even matter, because as this goes on, that's going to be the shifting polls. Things are going to move in the many months to come. Dan, one of my first presidential candidates, Lamar Alexander, was fond of saying that the difference between a major statewide race and a presidential race is the difference between eighth grade basketball and the NBA finals. There are going to be good days, there are going to be bad days, and no one knows how a candidate will perform under the white-hot lights of a presidential race. So we'll see. Ron DeSantis may perform beautifully. He may bomb. He may be something in between. We just don't know yeah. until it actually happens. All right, so the takeaway is that, and it's not surprising, is that we don't have any definitive answers, which makes sense, right? Which makes sense as to everything that's going on and why there's some confusion. I, I, I kind of disagree. I think at this point that Ron DeSantis has not stepped up to the plate yet. And whether he likes it or not, he's been dragged into the race by Donald Trump. Mm. And if this is the best he's got right now, it's not great. Tara Palmieri and Whit Ayers, thank you. Appreciate it. A pleasure. Thank you. thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.